I mean, for Jack, honestly, it's to win two sets against Charlie. Charlie honestly only has to win one. He played so well the, the first encounter there on the winner's side. Yeah, it was definitely a great set, but good to see Charlie back at it again. Now he's yeah. been sitting on winner's side grand final. So let's see if he can win his... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's been a while since he's won an MSM, that's for sure. That is so true. let's he's go ahead and see. I feel the confidence come from him winning hat. He's been winning hat the past two weeks. No signs of Jump Steady, but we'll see here, man, because Jump Steady has been replaced by Jack. We'll see how much of a replacement Jack can hold up. Yeah, well, we're seeing, uh, you know, one story from one space to another. Of course, Palutena with those long-lasting hitboxes mm -hmm. can keep both spaces at the ledge for a very long time, can cover a lot of the different options they try to use to recover, so. Let's see, Charlie's got the control right now. Okay, Great parry. parry. I like nice. that decision-making from Charlie. He didn't opt for the immediate punish. He decided to use it to reposition, so that's yeah. a faster option than going for an attack. Didn't quite work out the way he wanted to, but still, he's got the positioning, and he got stuck because of it. I feel like that's one thing that Charlie has been doing against Chag is positioning and spacing. As well, as part of positioning is also having that spacing that goes along with it, and then the ability to punish Chag like that on the neutral get that the Chag isn't so comfortable with. Yeah, just forcing out the approach options from Chag. Oh, so close. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. You just try to go for the quick option and maybe try to go for a counterattack while he was stuck in end lag. Mm -hmm. Not quite going to work there. I was going to get off the ledge. He does not. He's going to go get hit by that down tilt. That's going to take the stock. He's third got a decent sized lead on him, at least. Yeah, and third time is a charm on that down tilt from Chag. Ooh, the first committal comes from Charlie. Now he's stuck on the platform. Going to be a big combo, potentially. No, up tilt. That was very smart. He used a dash attack to cross him up and mm -hmm. then. He was expecting the shield grab or some kind of punish that wasn't going to reach him. So he went for the up tilt and it would reach behind him. He's able to get a punish off of it. All right, Charlie, careful on his line here. Chaga slowly come back around. Forward air. Like that. Takes center stage here. He's looking for an opportunity to get a grab. Finds it. Oh, that was that was great positioning too because he would have caught a Chag on the roll get up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Spot dodge the up smash. I, I, I think he was just trying to cover whatever Chag might have been plotting at that <laughs> specific moment. He was just doing an empty land, maybe trying to get a grab. It looked like Charlie was ready for it. He was able to go ahead and get that punish. Ooh, tries oh. to do a shine extension. Not quite the right uh, positioning for it, but he's still a great idea is coming for Charlie. Nice. You said it earlier, right? Positioning really matters here for Charlie. He's definitely demonstrating a nice, great parry. Great response for the forward tilt, and he catches him right as soon as the frame for auto, I'm sorry, for explosive frame starts. Yep. Yeah. Very great positioning. I think the main thing about that first game was that Charlie just knew when to do dashback. Dashback is Yo, such a great yeah. tool, especially in this type of neutral in this game. Every single time, he elicited a reaction out of Chag by doing a dashback and was either able to do a forward tilt, like a back air, a jump fair. He was trying to force Chag to do one of those aerial approach options that Palutena is known for. Yeah. Obviously, it was not working out. Very linear character in the sense of neutral that you're kind of going for the same three options. Now we're switching over to the inkling. I think Chag kind of realized that. It's like, okay, you're going to be doing dashback. Well, let's play with one of the best dashbacks in the game. Yeah. Inkling definitely have, having that as part of its toolkit. Let's see how it works out, though. I feel like both of these characters, uh, they can kind of go even, in maybe in Inkling's favorite. Oh. oh. Ooh, okay. So definitely didn't mean to do that. <laughs> maybe he was trying to do a shine or something and then just, like, hit the control stick the wrong he way. Might, I don't know. He might have felt a little saucy there and tried to go for, like, a reverse a reverse B. Yeah. We'll just call it a little misplay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's going to start off Chag really nicely, but he's already got 77% on him, so kind of just making up for lost damage at that point. So let's see how Charlie can try to bring this back around. Mm -hmm. Nice. Using the blaster as soon as he can. One thing that Charlie's going to want to stop is Inkling's aerial approaches, too. Things like Nair, back air, and slow down Inkling's movement. One thing Inkling feels really comfortable is having that speed. And like you said, having that speed alongside one of the best dashbacks in the game. That's something Charlie wants to make sure he shuts down as soon as possible. Splap on the cover of the get up here. Chag missing the dash grab. What's the option going to be? Okay, I like that. He's mixing up his expected timings on mm -hmm. the recovery just so that that forward tilt doesn't try to two-frame him. That's going to be... Oh, Ooh, great wow. mash. Yeah, great mash. I thought that was actually the stock right there. Yeah, same. Not quite the percentage for the Booyah, but still. Great control here. Already overlapping the percent. Not quite going to lose the stock yet. As right, so he get back to the stage. That's a forward tilt. He's looking for it, yes. What a great choice to change that with down tilt because it, the last time we saw him do that against Chag, that forced Chag to go for the low recovery, setting it up for another forward tilt to be mid out. Yeah, especially since down tilt is quicker and has mm -hmm. a faster cooldown than forward tilt, so it can elicit pressure, especially when they're at high percent. Oh, he doesn't auto step the ledge, but he comes back with a wolf flash. Such range. 
What a quick turnaround coming out from Trike. He doesn't have the stock lead. He has such high percent here. But I'm not gonna lie, having stage control is the first thing to start off. This right. Blaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like he's mixing up his different uh, options. The fade back blaster is a very great tool, especially to elicit pressure from your opponent when they're trying to start something in neutral. Mm -hmm. Now you can see Chag's like, okay, wait a minute. I have the lead. I don't really need to approach these. <laughs> yes. And yes, I can spot dodge, mm -hmm. get a grab, <laughs> back throw, get the kill. We're moving on the last stock for Charlie here at game two. Yeah, Charlie kind of even lasted off a little bit too. He kind of know like, okay, man, this is a Smash 4 classic. Yeah, you can see Jack totally changed his <laughs> game plan. He's just going to stand there. It's like, well, I don't have to approach at all. Mm -hmm. And Charlie's been trying to get me to react this whole game, this whole set. So, uh, you know, let's just bring it the other way around. Yeah, I have the lead here. Or as Obi-Wan would say, I have the high ground. Yeah. Nice down tilt. So almost gets the backer here. I like that. Uh, approach down tilt is a very good option. It lasts long, so you can cover a lot of options. And he sets mm -hmm. up a tech chase situation. That's where Inkling thrives, especially in advanced position. When you get a tech chase scenario, you can get roller, you can get a grab, you can get jab, you can get so many options off of it. And just like that, with the ledge control, using the splat bomb to cover, got 98% on him, but the back air, a little bit of a misslip from Chad, kind of went too far on his approach there. Nice, using forward air here. Solid combo coming out from Charlie, 37% already. Back air. Oh! That was such a play, man. Chag was not ready. He just shakes his head for it. That's one thing Charlie has been able to do every single time against Chag. Either on stage or off the stage. He does not disappoint when it comes to landing those. Hey, man. Fair footstool is not a thing in this game anymore. <laughs> so yep. you got to go with the next best thing. <laughs> I feel like that's Charlie's fair footstool this game. For sure. It is definitely something akin to his specific play style. Mm -hmm. You don't really see other wolves go for those kind of Whack setups, <laughs> if, I have, if I have to call it anything. But yeah, just Charlie, great awareness control, knew exactly how he's DIing, reacted to it, mm -hmm. and then just finished it off with a very nice spike. So brought him back around, looking at a potential set and tournament point here for Charlie. Pretty pretty quick grand finals, honestly, with a 30 in a handshake. But yeah. hey, man, Chai has still one more game to prove himself here. Let's see what he can find. Him. Yeah, I mean, all things considered, Chai played that relative. Okay, splash back, not going to work out. Nope. Charlie knows exactly what to do there. Just hold shield and then continue on. Yeah. Almost got the tech chase with Fartel. I like that each time Charlie goes for a jump, he makes sure he comes back to center stage. He doesn't want to let Jack feel safe just yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back at his down smash. Covers the roll as well. What's the option going to be? Yep. Elicit pressure with a down smash again. Just go in for a neutral get up and a grab. Oh, I like that. Kind of set himself up to play around Jack. How's he get back up? Okay, fade back there. All right, I like it. You talked about it earlier, right? The, the, the one, the name of the game here for Charlie positioning here, and he was positioned at a great point to either get forward tilt or read the get up option from Chad. All right, here's a big opportunity from Chad though. Okay, just hits him right on his kick him while he's down, man. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of respected though. Charlie didn't want to get, get go for a get up and then probably get punished by Chad even harder. Wow, that was about to be a super slick reversal. Didn't quite get the stock for it, but still, just it made him think that he was going to go for a ledge and then jumped up, jump, double jump back with the Nair. Very great stuff. Oof. Wow, what a save using the Wolf Fire to actually come back that way. And he stalls himself with a double jump. Not going to be it just yet. I like the use of down throw there. And that angle is going to force Chai to go for that kind of recovery, but the splat does not help Charlie out. Yeah, you got to be careful about the initial hitbox of Inkling's upbeat. It actually sends you in a really bad angle. It comes out very quick, too, so it's hard to react to text mm -hmm. like that. But going to get that back throw, bring it back to a two-stock six-minute game here. Classic Smash 4 tactic. Roll back. Grab. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie's comfort <laughs> zone, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Chag with the aggression. Goes in for two up airs. Three. Count them. Four? No, not quite. Still, no, no, no number amount of up is going to cause that percent to go on to Charlie at 53%. He feels himself a little bit too early and trying to go for that side dude, but this is big damage. And the corner carry, missing the down smash narrowly. Yeah, if he got that down smash, that I, I would have just called it. That's a set there. That's Charlie winning. Congratulations to him <laughs> for winning MSN number 207 right, pack, here today. Pack, pack up the setups, prep up the controllers, ladies and gentlemen. Just call it a, call it a day. Yeah, but still, Chad keeping it close. He's got to figure out his way around and get his aggression started, though. Charlie's on top of him here. Woo! Yeah, read the roll. Oh, oh I catch and him again with the Nair. Still got a great recovery. Gonna oh. try to go for the spike, but not quite. Oh. I kind of like it, too, because he would have been able to call out Chag's uh, aerial approach there, but unfortunately, it was a little too overzealous. Yeah. Booyah? Uh, no, nope. not quite. Yeah. Looks like maybe just a little bit too much rage, too. Kind of altered it. But up smash mm -hmm. out of shield. That'll pick him up. Front side, upside. 
We got some game for Charlie there. He kind of knew the first option that Jackal was going to do with the ledge, go to, try to go jump out. So he's putting the up air, I'm sorry, the back air out there for a reason. Get up attack. I like that. He actually, he, he waited until he approached onto the platform before he could land on the ground and get mm -hmm. shield up. He pulled out the get up attack, knowing which side that he was going to get get up attack first. Back throw, not going to be any good. He also for a reflector. Mm -hmm. I think he did that for both the splat bomb and just to cover his aerial approach. Yeah. So that was very smart from Charlie. All right, let's see if uh, Charlie can try and close the stock soon. It should be a back throw. I don't think it. Yeah, 51% of Charlie's name here. Yeah, he was trying to DI outward so that he wouldn't die off the top, but still would reach the side of the ledge. So not quite going to work out there. All right, man. This right. is Charlie's tournament to win, but he's got to get through Chag one more time. One more stock, and that's all he needs. And he's starting off with oh, the fares. Is this going to be it? Can Charlie actually? <laughs> what a what a corner carry. And he almost set himself up for the side beat. That was something I would have definitely been scared if I were Chag, having some PTSD from the first time he got received from that one. Yo, he just opened up up one conversion, brought it all the way to 100%, and he's got the control. Hasn't let Chag let up for a minute here. Nope. Positioning once more. Great opportunity from Charlie. How does he get back? Okay, jump there one more time. He's not oh. ready for it. Gets the get up attack on that. <laughs> oh, and gets the back air. Charlie taking MSM number 207. Oh, no everybody. platform is safe when Charlie the King is out here, man.